Good morning and welcome to the Mike Show for Wednesday, April 5, 2023. Oh boy, excuse me. Shit, I forgot the temperature. 36 degrees at 9.09 a.m. and I am your host, Fuck Kamal. And I'm another tired sinner. Cold, wet, rainy, lightning and thunder. We're in a break from it right now. We got two city chickens and it looks like four grackles out there feeding. One just left. Lots of birds singing this morning. A lot of cardinals. I'm here with Brother Prince and co-star Sullivan. Sullivan J. Ballbreaker, Esquire. Hey, Bobby. And I'm here with my Brother Prince and co-star Max. And we've been up for quite a while. Another restless night. Oh boy, where do we begin? I guess we'll start with Samuel. Sammy had four teeth extracted yesterday. I spent the morning at the vet's office. Uh, and they did a great job. The people at Alpena Veterinary Service. And I'm grateful for them. And I made them a batch of lentil soup and took it to them. But he... He came through being put under in his surgery, his oral surgery, very well. And he has infection in his jaws, and he's on a pain medication and some antibiotics. So four more days of the pain meds, and I think nine for the antibiotic. And he, he runs away from me because every time I'm coming near him now, i got to either give him a pill or a something you know and his poor little mouth hurts but he's eating and he's drinking and he cuddled with me last night but yeah he's he's a little disoriented he was really disoriented when he was coming out of being put under when we got home yesterday but 725 dollars later sammy's mouth is getting better oh boy so we didn't do much yesterday. I think I worked out with weights uh, and just hung out with the cats all afternoon because I was so tired. I did go to the library and pick up another Longmire novel. We started reading that last night. I did a puzzle. That's about it. You get up today and it's depressing news as usual. More talk of cutting Social Security benefits in my lifetime. More grift, you know. Uh, now people like me, we, we've worked and we put that money in there, we paid for it, we should get it back. And they're already, I don't know, I just don't even want to get into it. And this, it's such a fucked up world and people are so screwed up, it's not funny. Uh, one thing that caught my eye yesterday is there's this guy that goes around pranking people on YouTube. And some of these things, are, they're threats of violence and things like that. And that asshole got shot, and I wish he would have put one right in his head, but they, they charged the guy that shot him, and any articles on it doesn't say what the guy did. But I'm pretty sure, you know, I saw I saw one where this guy pulled a scalpel on a guy. And uh, when you're playing stupid games, you're going to win stupid prizes. But uh, it, the interesting thing to me was so many people in the comments section said the man that shot the guy overreacted, and I... Based on what I know about this asshole, he should have got two, 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 one in each eye and one between the eyes. Because this planet doesn't need assholes like that. But hey, what do I know? The usual political bullshit going on. Witch hunts. The grifters just keep getting richer. and You know, I, I don't even want to, I don't even know why I talk about it. I don't even know why I care. I do care because we have the potential to be so much better and so much more. And it looks like we just go to our base nature, you know? We're all part of the problem. Nobody's coming up with any solutions. Mine is, hey, let's be accountable for what you think, say, and do. But oh no, that went out the window a long, 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 long time ago. So, anyway. Got a city chicken out on the wire out there. 
I have no idea what I'm going to do today. I think I might hit Meyer and pick up some used food. Uh, I got to talk to my financial advisor. Oh boy, what else? I still haven't started working on getting my Kona back together. Got some litter boxes to clean. Probably need to go pick up some more litter. Ah, uh, my sister, the angel, Judy, blessed me with another gift certificate at Marine Market. Thank you, sister. There's one city chicken coming to feed. But yeah, I just don't know. You know, there's just... It doesn't help being tired all the time. I got some cold, thin, watery gruel cooking. Let's get off the negativity for a little bit anyway. Uh... Yeah, I got a cold, thin, watery gruel to have for breakfast. Maybe that'll help my spirits a little bit. Maybe it'll drag me down a little bit more. Help me fit this bleak, dour, gray day that we're having. Dismal, dreary, depressing, bleak, stark. <laughs> but it's springtime here in northern Michigan, and we're going to take a break. We're back again. Sully's getting the plumb spot. Takes him forever to get comfortable and I was really getting irritated by that. There's my gruel, cold, thin, and watery. You can see the cold steam coming off of it. Nothing like a good bowl of gruel to start your day. Or cracked corn if you're a city chicken. Yeah. So, I don't know. I am going to have to get a job. I keep talking about that, but I need a job. I need to go get a job, a decent job, where I don't have to deal with assholes and make a decent amount of money and something I can physically handle. That's half the battle right there. Oh, boy. So anyway, I just finished eating my gruel. We got a dove and a grackle out there. The grackle just left. He had to go home, so he left. Sully's still here with me. The lentil soup is boiling. Festering, I should say. Yeah. I don't know what to say, but that doesn't keep me from talking most times. <laughs> oh boy. I think that's all we got for today. If I sit here and keep rattling on, I'm just gonna depress myself more than I already am. <laughs> oh boy. So anyway, from the cold gray ashes and coals of my cold black heart, my broken, beaten, battered, bruised, bloody, burdened, empty, hollow, cracked, shattered, hopeless, forsaken, and forlorn soul. There's neighbor Steve out there. There's neighbor Steve. And there's some chickadees. Oh, it's getting better all the time. Chickadee dee dee. Yeah. Anyway, it's Sushi Wednesday at Meyer. Have a wonderful day. Thanks for not tuning in.